What's going on guys? Vic BB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're going to be doing an overview of the machine. Bride of Pinbot. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> Alright guys, you know the drill, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything, all the behind the scenes of what you see behind me happening, real life, enjoying some games, a little bit of snippets and posts and all that. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me on all the socials. There's a link tree link down below. What are you waiting for? Go click and be sure to follow and then also be sure to like and subscribe and Post your comments down below. What do you think about this build? And be sure you start commenting on all my videos because that helps. <laughs> Enough of the social media plug -in. You know, I always say that. I'm a broken record, I know. But that's just kind of my intro. And that's what you guys have to do. You have to just deal with it. But all in all, today, we're going to be doing an overview video on this beautiful... Uh, I keep... Um, I keep... Uh, what's the word? Uh, I keep surprising myself on all the builds that I do. I feel like I just keep, I keep like not, I like what's the word? I keep topping myself and I keep going up and up. This is a beautiful example of a classic Williams table slash cabinet known as the Machine Bride of Pinbot. Man, amazing V-Pin. I was thinking about changing the wording, changing the title, maybe call it like the Virtual Machine or the Machine the bride of uh, virtual pin bot. I don't know. I was thinking about so many ways to like kind of name it, but I think in all honesty, I'm just going to leave it, leave it as it being known as the machine bride of pin bot. Beautiful machine. Uh, first thing also on this machine is my first ever Ryzen build. So that's also very cool to see on this. So Again, without further ado, we're going to be doing an overview video on this. Let's talk about some basics. Let's talk about who is getting this cabinet because they are coming in two days to pick this cabinet up, uh, driving six hours to come and pick up this beautiful machine. Now, for the people that are new here, you don't know me. My name is Vic. I am Vic VP, Game Case Arcades. I build virtual pinball machines, arcade cabinets, everything gaming related. I do, whether it's me building them or playing and live streaming, that's what I do. 33 years old and I love my retro games. This is a prime example of a beautiful virtual pinball machine that I built ground up, custom made. I got the CNC machine to cut the wood out. I got a metal guy to make the custom side rails, the lockdown bar. Everything you see here was hand done by me. Yes, I am a one man army. I'm throwing this plug in because honestly right now, TikTok, I keep saying it in all my past videos, but TikTok is blowing up. <laughs> no joke, TikTok, it's just blowing up. People are saying like, who are you? Where do I buy it? Where's your website? So that's my little plug on this one. Again, though, we're doing the overview. Let's talk about the PC specs on this because yes, this is running a PC-based system. It's a Windows PC. This isn't Batisara. This isn't Raspberry Pi. This isn't like a mini PC. No, this is a full-blown custom-built PC. It's inside the cabinet, as you can see, this is a beautiful example of a virtual pinball machine. Very simple, plug it in, turn it on, the system boots and all. As far as the PC specs on this, again, totally custom built. And the first time ever, I'm gonna give a shout out to Joel Retro Lizard. He told me, Vic man, you gotta try out those Ryzen's builds. Bet, I got this one in this computer. This has a Ryzen 7. This is the 5700X on it. 32 gigs of RAM one terabyte m.2 ssd and as far as the graphics card we are running a 4060 on this i do not cheap out on pc parts it's the one stupid thing i get on tiktok and even on youtube where oh you're going insane on pc parts that's that's overkill i why go cheap and then experience stutter why why go cheap it i always it always irks me when people comment like that i would rather deliver you the best of the best yes we could have done a 4070 I could have done a 4090. You don't really have to go that far. I think a 4060 again. Also, I like to build current gen spec. I'm not using no Dell Optiplexes. I tried that in the past. And then now you get some people that want to go 4K and all that. Can't do that with a Dell Optiplex. Yes, you can, Vic. I could do a 1660. Okay. 
Fine, I'm talking about current gen stuff. That's what I deal with current gen PC specs. So as the cabinet details on this, we are running the 42 inch LG C3 OLED. Of course it's 4K and of course it's got 120 Hertz. 32 inch back glass. I use my ViewSonic, I always use this back glass. People automatically see how bezel-less it is. A lot of people see this like, whoa, that looks like it's like a legit back glass. Yes, it is a bezel-less screen. And as far as the DMD, I'm running a 17 inch DMD on this. Beautiful, this right here is mimicking a standard body pinball machine. Not a wide body, standard body, just like my Simpsons Pinball Party 2.0. As far as like the toys and such that are going on in this, I do have my 10 solenoids. This does have a shaker motor on it. RGB underglow, addressable RGB. So you got the side rails, you got the speaker grills, and obviously you do have the LED matrix there. Shaker motor is on this as well. Analog plunger, the KL25Z board gives us that nudge and tilt. I made a video and tutorial on how to enable your nudge and tilt. This build is completely set up and ready to go for the customer. Other stuff as far as lighting, you do have strobes, um, flashers, which I use our RGB flashers. I actually went a different route on this one, which I'm pretty happy with how it came out, but we'll talk about that on the full detail video. Custom side rails and lockdown bar from my buddy Eric Big E Productions. That is a must. And obviously, we do have real glass on this. I went the same route I did with my Simpsons Pinball Party. I went screen flush against the glass slash very close to the glass. Basically, the side rails, the side LEDs are right up against the glass. I could have indented the screen. I let the customer know. He said, hey, Vic, man, I'll be honest. I kind of understood and take your like advice. The newer stuff, especially with VPX 10.8, where you're able to adjust the incline and you could kind of see the actual virtual side walls or side art walls on some tables. Uh, he said, Vic, you know what? It's a good idea. Just keep the screen flush with the glass. I could have done the indent route. That's a okay. You could also see that the matrix up top also is flush up and all that. It is awesome. It is a thing of beauty. I always mention some of the little little details. For example, like you do have the LED flippers and the LED magnet saves. You do have your complete DOF setup. So this has like the start, the coin, the extra ball, which I use as shift, exit. Again, I mentioned about the plunger. Everything is basically set up. The only thing that's missing on this cabinet, all honesty, is compared to mine, is the beacons. The customer could not fit beacons in the area that this cabinet is going in so i did still wire it so if he wanted to add beacons later on he could do that but all in all it's just missing beacons now let's discuss the artwork on this because in all honesty it is a thing of beauty ah the artwork on this is it's breathtaking it is unbelievable I cannot take all the credit though for the artwork. I did say to myself, starting in 2024, I'm gonna get help with the artwork and obviously he has delivered. Big shout out to my buddy Ignacio over at Gaston Designs. He's always messaged me. He's always said, hey Vic man, let's do something together. Let's work on it. If you know me and my past builds, artwork is always artwork. I, I love doing artwork. It does take time. But um, for this specific machine, number one, I knew I was gonna reach out to Ignacio Gaston. Um, and number two, I actually had to reach out to him because trying to find artwork files for the Bride of Pinbot, I would probably say is physically impossible, especially high resolution images. So again, without further ado, I'm proud to announce, it's not really a partnership, but I will be using him here on out I will be giving basically two options. Customers could either, either pay me to do the artwork or we have to get a graphic designer involved, which would be Ignacio over at Gaston Designs. You can check him out on, on Instagram. Uh, he's also on Facebook, but he's Ignacio on Facebook, his regular actual like you know, face, uh, his, you know him himself, not the, custom, the company. Uh, Gaston Design is his like Instagram handle. So it's awesome. Again, I could not have done this without him and he had Beautiful, high resolution. As you can see it here, this is the exact artwork you would find on a Bride of Pinbot. Now, I'm not gonna lie though, even though I had him make the artwork and all that, I basically sent him the templates and all that, 
I still had to do some work. I still had to modify. I still had to get my hands a little dirty uh, on his artwork. Not that it was a bad thing. Me personally, I look at every single design. You just have to stay tuned for the full detail video where we're going to be discussing basically what I kind of added to really kind of complete the artwork. But again, without Gaston, the artwork is just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look anything like this. Now remember, he supplied the artwork. I have to get a different person which prints the vinyl and then I apply the vinyl. So it's kind of three people joining forces. So again, stay tuned for the full detail video. I'll tell you about the add-ons that I did to the artwork to really kind of complete it. Now, as far as the system, I am running pinup popper on this. Without further ado, let's run the machine, Bride of Pinbot. Uh, like I said, I am running now VPX 10.8. Honestly, you're still running 10.7. 10.8 it has a couple of tables. It's a lot of testing that goes involved in all that. I did a lot of updates and such on this specific one. But as you can see, seamless transitions. Let's enter some coins. Running pinball as well on this, very easy integrated shift so you don't have to actually turn knobs press start use my plunger get that 200,000 point skill shot and run it what a thing of beauty i got a kl25g board on this this way you do have your nudge you could tilt and such what a thing of beauty beautiful again 10 10 solenoids on this beautiful machine let's take a look at it in the dark Again, beautiful, again, with the 120 hertz screen, it is a thing of beauty, again, running in 4K. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what it is with my camera whenever I record. LEDs flicker, as you can see right now. It does not flicker in real life. The camera, whenever it's capturing purple, yellow, and like green, it always gives you that little bit of a flicker, but I'll put you out of your misery. I am trying to get basically the ball locked, because. I haven't played this table until this customer told me, you know, he wanted the Bride of Pinbot artwork. And I said to myself, I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to actually try and play it. What a beautiful game. Uh, the big thing is that you basically try to get into the Billionaires Club on this table. Again, very cool I drained out. <laughs> Again, full doff on this LED matrix, the side rails, and as you can see also, the speaker grills have the addressable LEDs in it. Again, shout out Emil, I followed his tutorial on that. As far as the upgrade to 10.8, I followed Rudy. Rudy made an awesome tutorial, very cool, very good stuff. As you can see, we have the addressables and such going on. What a thing of beauty, especially when it all ties in together. It's, it's a work of art. Now, as far as the customer who's getting this, this is going out to Brad D's brother, Chad D. How awesome is that? You got an identical twin, Brad and Chad, yes. This V-Pin is specifically built for Chad D. He requested the machine Bride of Pinbot. I never played Bride of Pinbot. My actual local arcade has a Bride of Pinbot. I went there recently, if you saw my, my Instagram uh, stories or even the YouTube short or even TikTok, you would have seen I got my name on the board at that Bride of Pinbot, but I did not get the Billionaire's Club. So that is kind of a cool achievement slash goal if you're gonna play the bride of pinbot but yes really happy that this is going out to chad d they are driving here i believe they're in maryland they're driving here six hours it's gonna be a six hour drive he's coming in two days which is gonna be saturday he did mention me Vic. we can't stay too long but we're gonna hang out for a little bit i'm gonna give him a whole detailed tutorial and such and then we're gonna wrap the cabinet and put it in a truck or i believe actually a u-haul the original idea was to get a truck I'm actually very happy because again, I've never met Brad D in person. We, we used to live stream, but it's kind of different when you meet people in person, like when I met Joel and Ray. Brad's coming down with his brother. We're gonna come here. I actually even told Brad, I said, listen man, you're making this trip. I have a little gift for you. Once I mentioned, I didn't really tell him what the gift is, but I gave him the dimensions of it. Uh, it went from getting a regular pickup truck to now renting a U-Haul. <laughs> so I do apologize to Chad that he had to spend a little bit more to get that rented U-Haul, but as a gift to Brad, 
I am actually gifting him this. The Mega Touch Max Jade Edition. I'm very excited for him to get it because he doesn't have a touch screen gaming system. Uh, this has been in the garage for far long. I've had it up for sale, it hasn't moved. Kind of upsets me when it kind of collects dust. So I'm very happy and proud to give that to my buddy Brad D. So he doesn't know what he's getting. I sent him the dimensions of this. I said, hey, can you fit another arcade in your arcade? And he goes, yeah, cool. And he's like, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. He actually said, I'll make room. I'll move stuff around. So Brad, I hope you enjoyed your Mega Touch Max. It's also great because I just completed the Orion that is there. So it's kind of swapping out. But that Orion will most likely move down to my basement. I got to make some room uh, in the garage. <laughs> Now the one last thing I do want to mention, and I would love to hear your comments down below. The actual pictures that I posted, even the promo video, even the videos you see right now of me showing off this cabinet, there's actually going to be a slight change when Chad picks up this cabinet. What am I talking about? This cabinet is actually not going to slash, it's not supposed to have red legs on it. It's actually supposed to have these right here. What a thing of beauty. <laughs> Look at that. It is actually that have beautiful chrome. Look at this is gorgeous. From Pinball Life, chrome legs on it. Goes great, honestly, with the uh, actual side res and lockdown bar. It's just in the garage, I did not want to whip out this chrome. I want to make sure this chrome is pristine, clean, unscratched, and unscathed. So you let me know which one do you like better. Should it stay with the red legs or... Look at that. I hope you can see the, the chrome on it. That is gorgeous. That is a thing of beauty. <laughs> and finally, the one last thing. I want to make sure you can see it. Yes, the one last thing, which right now it's supposed to be coming tomorrow. Um, I hope it arrives by Saturday, but worst case, he could always swap it out on the end. The actual plunger here, that is not his plunger. It is not this red-tipped plunger. I actually bought for him a very nice, dedicated Bride of Pinbot plunger ball type of look. I'll snap a picture of it here. That came from Modfather. Um, honestly, it's it took a while, so it's taking a while. I don't understand why it's taking so long, but that is the only one thing that I'm hoping that before he picks this up, I will be able to swap out that plunger. Now, it's not detrimental. It's not game-breaking. Vic, you destroyed it. No, no, no. It's A-OK. -okay. Worst case scenario, I could always mail him the plunger. It's just like a real pinball machine. You just kind of take the clip out, the E-clip, and you just swap out the rod. It's just a plunger rod to it. But, man, I, I'm, I'm more excited when he gets it home and he can show me a couple of pictures of what it finally looks like because those chrome legs look amazing. Now, it's really cool with the Bride of Pinbot. Um, basically, like you're like bringing this robot to life, this robot girl. Uh, so it's pretty cool. You actually, once you lock three balls, and again, I played this in Pinball and on, I played the actual machine. So I was very excited when I looked at the actual machine and I saw the artwork. The biggest thing is the actual purple. This like purple background and all that, it is one to one. So again, shout out to Ignacio Gaston Designs. The purple was like, it's, it's legitimately perfect. Now, I've never played the Bride of Pinbot before. I was playing it on VPX. Again, I try to get this Billionaires Club. Um, it's got a great sequence when you get the ball locks. So it's like, you know, the first one, the ball drops in her mouth and she goes, I can speak. And then all of a sudden the actual face changes and seeing, again, I played the real one, seeing it in real life, a real Bride of Pinbot machine, seeing that face change, that's like an insane mech. For Williams to make a mech like that, it's so mind blowing. But the craziest thing, and again, if you haven't played the Bride of Pinbot, you should definitely jump on and play it, whether you're playing it real or on virtual pinball. I believe it's the third ball lock when she actually comes alive and you hear the heartbeat. The cabinet is just like the audio for that heartbeat. It's like, whoa, this machine is actually coming to life. So, what a thing of beauty. I'm just so happy that it is complete. As far as like, you know, the, the again, side rails and lockdown bar, I was even trying to, you know, we were deciding, should we go with purple? Or should we go with, I sent the pictures of mine, which is the brushed aluminum. Eric could do chrome rails and lockdown bar. Uh, it is a costly thing. Um, in all honesty, I think it looks perfectly fine. And I do believe, don't quote me on it, but I do believe the stock 
real bright of pinbot. I believe these side rails are like chromish slash your regular silver look to it. Um, I had the idea of doing purple, and again, Eric could do powder coating. I was gonna do like a purple with like maybe like glitter, but in all honesty, I think it would be too much purple. A lot. Not to mention we do have also the purple tea molding. I had to get that special ordered. Um, not that it's like custom, it's just I had to order that. Um, it looks awesome. I think it's great. I think it's an insane cabinet. Again, I work in the garage, so sometimes I work with the garage open. And I have people that drive down, they're like, what is that? I've never seen like a color scheme like this. Again, the Bride of Pinbot. It's a beautiful looking machine. Well guys, there you have it. The overview on the machine. Bride of Pinbot. I, I, I don't know why I say it like that. I just, I think it's so awesome. The machine. Uh, there is your overview. Be sure to stay tuned for the full detail. I'm gonna talk your ear off, full fledged video talking about everything. Again, a couple of new hands on it. Shout out again to Gaston Ignacio for the artwork. I do have my buddy Videl. He's always in the chat. He's always messaging me and also on YouTube commenting and stuff. Videl even put a little bit of help on this. He did make the 3D printed plunger potentiometer uh, holder for me. So shout out to him. You'll be seeing that more on the full detail video. Vig VP. Game case arcades. I love what I do. I love it. Mario. <laughs>